welcome back to the channel. Yes, I'm on the 8940. Finally got it fixed. Uh, I'll tell about that at the end of the video. What all has happened and what was the matter. And uh, It's not as bad as what I thought. So, I'm about to go cut hay and just stay tuned to the end of the video if you want to find out what's going on with this rig. See you then. picked up some wire when I was back cutting this or something I don't see anything but anyway this would be a good time to tell and explain how this works uh, got the knives right here They spin around and cut the hay and feed it up in between them rollers. That crimps it, dries it out. So that's how that works. And I'll show you how it comes out the back end. You can see them Grampers on each side. And you can adjust your wind row right here. We've got it out to wide so it'll dry out a lot quicker. And I don't know what y'all call them in your part of the country, but we call them uh, mower conditioners. I think some people call them wind rowers, swathers. But, well, I'm going to get back to cutting.
know somebody's gonna ask that's all right uh this is a coon mower conditioner we bought it new in about 2006 it's a fc 4000 rg as you can see and uh the cut on it is 13 foot 9 inches it's got a lot of acres on, on it uh, but yeah that's what it is it's a center pivot and that reminds me I need to straighten it up before I leave out of this field so uh, we'll catch y'all back at the 8940 and I'll tell you what's been going on with it enough well just a little recap for those that's new this is a 8940 case international uh this is my main row crop tractor i've started out this spring i planted uh about 100 acres of corn and uh injector pump went down well, couldn't find uh, the parts in the United States rebuild the injector pump, COVID. So we had to wait a few weeks and we finally got them in. And uh, so got the pump back on. The mechanic cranked it up, started making a funny sound. Uh, wasn't getting the oil to the injector pump. So we thought we was going to have to rebuild the engine and uh that wasn't ended up not being the case that's good hopefully but uh on inspection of the oil it looked funny so we've sent the oil off for analysis but we think somehow i don't know how it could have happened but i guess i did it i can't blame it on dad uh, hydraulic fluid got in the oil when somebody put changed the oil uh, not changed the oil because I changed the oil and I know I put motor oil in it but have to add a little bit to it every now and then and uh, might have been hydraulic fluid so we've got it back I ran it some this morning I'm going to change the oil in it again oil and filters and run it some uh Maybe some discing. I got some uh, custom discing, I think, coming up. And then uh, run it in the grain cart. So if it does good this fall, I know it's. I know it'll be good for the spring, hopefully. So uh, if it's not, I'll just rebuild it this this winter. It's hot. I might have said that before. But uh, this is going to be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, I'm losing subscribers for some reason. And my views are way down on the last two videos. I don't know. But thanks for the ones that are sticking with me. And leave me a comment. Got some new people commenting. I don't know if they've been watching and just now commenting but uh i like the comments and uh we'll see you on the next one